Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vita Studio and today a quick video to share with you a sample from our explainer pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download the sample by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you a folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the TRFX file, and the fonts. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to use. To install the font, just select all of them, and then you can just double click on them to start the installation process or drag them directly to your font folder on your computer. Then you can just go to the TRFX file and double click on it to start the installation process. It will just bring up that window, just select install, and you can now go over to DaVinci Resolve. Once inside of Resolve, you can go over to Effect, then here, Title, Video to Studio, and then you can just scroll down to Sample, and then here you will be able to find the Explainer Pack sample right there. Let's use it right now by dragging it here in our timeline. So as you can see, this title is a paragraph text with some highlighting feature. Right now it's playing all right, but we are dropping a few frames. So a quick tip to avoid that is simply to go over to playback and then here run the cache, select smart instead of none. That will basically here bring that red bar that's gonna just go from red to blue. And when the bar has turned fully blue, that means that the title has been fully cached in and you will be able to get real time playback. Because that title is a bit heavier, as you can see, there is quite a few functionality right there. So that's probably gonna be better if you cache it in. So right now, if I play it, as you can see now, we're playing at 30 FPS without any issue. So that's just a general tip with any title that feels heavier and with which uh, you're getting a few drop frame. All right, so now let's go into the functionality and how to use this title. First off, you can obviously extend or reduce it as much as you want, and you will retain the animation in and the animation out. Speaking of which, you can also adjust the animation length. Right now, by default, it's three seconds, meaning the overall animation for the entire text and then the highlighting feature. So you can choose to have this at three seconds, or if you want it quicker, you can switch here, for example, to one second, and now the animation will take only one second, so it's a lot faster. You can also choose between different type of animation. Right now, as you can see, the text is sliding up, but we can choose between no animation at all, meaning that here we have no animation at the beginning and we only have the highlighting. We can choose to have then zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, slide up, slide down, and fade in. So you can try any of those animation right here and you have the same animation for the animation out. So right now by default, the animation out is a zoom out, but you can have it be a slide up, you can have it be a slide down, so on and so forth. You can also decide to have no animation at all, as mentioned uh, earlier with the animation in. So that's for the animation. Then we have the highlight count. So here, as you can see, we have a three highlight coming in. We can choose between one only, two, or three. So you can just select which one you want right there. Then we have the overall size and position of that text. So we can choose to have it, uh, you know, displaced uh, to the side, top, bottom. We can adjust the overall size of the text, the rotation. And then here uh, you can obviously adjust that text. So replace that with whatever you want. You can change the font, uh, you, the color, the size, the tracking, etc. Then the last thing, and probably the most important for this specific title, is the highlight parameter. So here we have an overall highlight height parameter. So you can decide to have it reduce or to increase it, and it will be linked to all of them. So that way you can keep consistency across all those different highlights. Then you have a highlight one, two, three, and basically that will allow you to change the color, the position, etc. So here, for example, on highlight one, we want to highlight the entire first line. So we can just do that here by extending the first highlight. Here we go. And then we can change the color to red, for example. And depending on your font, you might need to displace it slightly. So you can just put it here to the side. You can just move it to another part of the text. For example, if you need to highlight uh, two elements, for example, a first full sentence and then a specific word, you can do that right here. So here, for example, you could highlight that first sentence and then inventing will be highlighted again on top of it. 
if we play it, as you can see, that could be used in a very interesting way, depending on what you try to put an emphasis on. So you have the same functionality for Highlight 2 and Highlight 3. That way you have a lot of control over those highlights. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in a comment what kind of pack we should make next, what kind of assets you would like us to build for DaVinci Resolve. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.